Hey, my name is Javi, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers 4 Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. First of all, let me wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. Also, who gives a crap? Let's talk about the figure! This is honestly one of the best Optimus figures that I own. I don't have many Optimus figures. So much great detail, but according to the box, he's missing some paint apps. He's got a great red and blue color palette on the front, but when you turn him around, kinda looks like he's naked from this point down. Optimus, you kinky son of a bitch. Also, this is a great look for Optimus. Can't believe it took them four movies to get it right! And the head sculpt is amazing. It's got some very good light piping that should have been a deeper blue. And while the head looks nice, I wish it had a faceplate. I mean, Optimus doesn't have the prettiest face. I'm aware that there's a rusty version of this figure that has a faceplate in robot mode, but... Yeah, how about no? The articulation on this guy is excellent. He's got the chicken head joint, can rotate 360, rotate at the arm, move in and out, swivel here, got a elbow joint. His right elbow is pretty loose, probably because it's being weighed down by his gigantic gun. Also, the gun can shoot a missile, but firing missiles are for babies. And he's actually got wrist articulation. Seriously though, every Transformer needs wrist posability. Waist swivel, rotate at the hip, move in and out, and these wheels can move to look consistent when posing the leg. A tight swivel here, knee, and the ankles can move up and down and pivot. However, when you pose the ankles, this usually happens, god damn it, I just have to deal with it, I guess. So it's very easy to get this figure in some cool poses, and I wish every Voyager class Transformer had this much posability. Oh, Grimlock, you could have been so much better. Also, this figure is pretty big. Here's Dinobot Snarl, DC Collectibles Animated Batman, and SH Monster Arts Godzilla. And let me stat him up so he yeah, has a, so he has a, a better, better chance. chance. So yeah, this robot mode is fantastic, but as you know, that's not all there is to the figure. Optimus Prime, transform! <coughs> <coughs> I can't do the voice. Oh my god, this transformation is really fun and has a brilliant design. It was pretty hard at first seeing the instructions are backwards, truck to robot. Pretty much, you compact this tall figure and turn it inside out to get this tiny truck. The simple geometry of this truck is very satisfying. I love it. But the back wheels do get misaligned pretty easily and that could be kind of frustrating. However, it is possible to get them flat on the ground. Also, the gun doesn't have any place to go but here or here. That just looks stupid. Also, no flames! Why couldn't Prime just look like this throughout the movies? Now, I'm no hardcore G1 fan, but flames? That never seemed appropriate for the character to me. Okay, let me rephrase that. Flames are appropriate for the Michael Bay Optimus Prime. I mean, the lack of flames on this truck gives him a more dignified and wiser feel, which is how I picture Optimus. Keep the flames for a character like Hot Rod. But who gives a dimmy dang about the flames anymore? Let's do some size comparisons. Snarl, Batman, Godzilla. So overall, this is a fantastic figure, and I would be shocked, appalled, and disgusted if you didn't have it already. <laughs> I mean, say what you want about the movies. They suck! But they gave us some damn good toys. So if you like this video, give me a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for Future engineerable, sweet future engineerable. You make me smile with my heart. Cut.